dear listeners and audience you are requested to like and subscribe my channel and click the bell icon as well thank you in the name of allah the most gracious the most merciful to whom we all have to turn back honorable listeners and respectable audience today the topic which i have brought for you it's very interesting today our topic is the origin of language listeners and idents we will talk about in detail about the origin of language that uh, how language was originated how it was developed and we will also talk about the different states of a language and this uh, lecture will also uh, shed light on uh, either written languages developed fast or spoken language you know there are so many uh, speculations about the origin of language we don't know uh, the exact uh, history of a language that when it was developed and even there are no clear and direct uh, evidences about the origin of language from the earlier artifacts so according to one uh, speculation sucking uh, licking and chewing these three are the, the activities of mammalians which have similarities with speech but if we compare these three activities with speaking it does not have direct similarities but when we are chewing when we are for example licking or sucking so the our mouth move so this is one kind of a speculation another speculation about language is that that either written language developed first or spoken language one answer to this question is that that first spoken language was developed and it was developed and uh, originated approximately 15000 years ago or 1 lakh years ago and uh, as far as the written language it was originated and developed 5000 years ago now let's talk about the religious scriptures that uh, what the religious scriptures uh, they say about uh, the development and uh, the origin of language if we take uh, an example from biblical uh, tradition according to uh, biblical uh, tradition language is a divine source and it has been written in the bible uh, clearly that uh, god teach adam the names and then adam he said the names he mentioned the, the names now if we compare this uh, statement of uh, bible with the holy quran it has similarity with the verse of the holy quran which is in the first 
part of the Holy Quran. In the first part of the Holy Quran, the first part of the Holy Quran, Allah Almighty makes mention in Surah Al Baqarah, وَعَلَّمَ آدَمَ الْأَسْمَاءَ كُلَّهَا And Allah Almighty taught to Adam all the names. Allah Almighty taught to Adam, peace be upon him, all the names. So, the statement of Holy Bible is uh, similar with this verse of the Holy Quran. Similarly, if we take uh, another example from uh, a Hindu script, so according to Hindu script, language came from uh, Saraswati. According to their belief that Saraswati is the wife of Brahma, whom they called the creator of the universe. So according to them, language came from Saraswati, uh, that was uh, the wife of Brahma. However, according to all uh, religions, or to some extent most religious scriptures, they are on the belief that language came from God. Languages are divine source. And then God taught this language to human beings. In addition to this, there is a very interesting hypothesis that if there were infant children, if they were allowed in a separate environment to grow without hearing and listening to other uh, children language, so with the passage of some years, definitely uh, those children, they will be able to speak uh, divine language. They will be able to speak divine given language. This is another interesting hypothesis about the origin of language.